It's half past midnight here and I've just finished editing the video. I wanted to put in the intro just before anything gets started. This is my formal apology to everybody out there. Uh, my actions were actually illegal. I was not aware of that, not that that's any excuse, but I just wanted to put uh, an apology out here first for the drone community, for the citizens of Red Deer, for anybody that I could have hurt potentially uh, with my, my drone. I'm sorry. And I didn't mean to put anybody in harm's way. With that said, please enjoy today's vlog. to the vlog. So today is actually a pretty big day for myself personally. Now, obviously the main thing that I want to do is share my side of the story. What happened last week with the drone? I want to share exactly where I flew and everything like that. And I am going to do that in this video. However, I can't do it right away because I've got a very important reaction thing to do today. Let's see, today I'm shooting a commercial for a reaction client. It's gonna go on national TV. So I'm not going to my desk, I'm not setting up my laptop, I'm getting camera gear and I'm rolling out. So I don't really know what I'm shooting today. We didn't really get a whole lot of forewarning with this video, so that's why I'm bringing everything. All the things back here are what I'm bringing because I wanna be covered for for any shot I might want to take. This is, we're kind of doing this one by the seat of our pants. So for a national commercial, that's a little eh, scary. We got everything in the car here, uh, rolling out to the client's location. Now, as I've said before, we gotta keep this stuff under wraps, under NDA, but this is a quick turnaround project. This is like a, a one week to air sort of situation. So I will be sharing this video and all the clips and everything with you guys, but I can't do it right now. Right now, we're gonna take a quick cut and we're gonna get to that drone story, all right? So the video commercial shoot, the commercial shoot is complete. The client was actually super cool with uh, promoting the fact that they were making a commercial with reactions. So I'm gonna show you some really sweet footage of welding. So that was what I got up to today. I'm really excited to edit this together into a commercial, but that was just some uh, some sweet little tastes for you. What I'm here to talk to you guys about today is the events of Thursday, March 30th of last week when I flew my drone in the flight path of the Stars helicopter. Obviously, my previous drone footage and everything was uh, illegal. I didn't realize that the drone laws in Canada had become so strict recently. Not that that's an excuse. Obviously, I should have educated myself, but the, uh, the, the flight that I took took on Thursday, I believe was for the most part responsible. And I do not believe that I actually interfered with the STARS helicopter. So it started out like any other day. I show up at work, I hadn't shot anything for the intro to the vlog, so I thought, oh, I'll put the drone up real quick and shoot a cool little drone intro where it flies to me at the reaction offices and then that's where I start the vlog from. So right here was about where I took off from. I, uh, I had the drone just sitting on the sidewalk here and then I flew it over this way, so. This is, this is Stantec on the left here and this is BDO on the right, as you can see from the sign up there. And so I flew straight through the two of those keeping my height about equal with the Stantec building. And so I ended up over here. Right up there is probably where I, about I think where the drone was, I'm not exactly sure, because I, as I said, I don't have the, the footage to, uh, to look it over. This is City Hall right here. Uh, and uh, as you can see, so right, yeah, right there over my left shoulder, this is the Stantec building. And then right over here, right here on my right, this is the BDO building. So these are kind of the two tallest buildings in Red Deer. So they make for a nice little drone shot to fly right between the two of them. I enjoy doing that and you've probably seen these two buildings before. At about the height of the Stantec building, no higher than that, I heard the helicopter. Right away I was like, whoa, those are helicopter blades. This is bad, I gotta 
get out of here. So the first thing I do is just spin my drone around 360 a couple of times just to see, holy crap, is there a helicopter anywhere near the drone? I don't see anything on my screen, absolutely no helicopter at all. And that makes sense considering the drone was about the height of the tallest buildings in Red Deer and the helicopter would most likely not want to get in there. So there was probably no chance that I was directly in the path of the helicopter, but I wanted to make sure. After I had ascertained that there was no helicopter in my immediate vicinity, I decided I had to bring my drone in right away. But there was a problem. See, with the drone, it does have an automatic return to home and land mode. However, how that operation works is the drone actually goes up higher and then just flies in a straight arc with no control from me. I was really worried that if there was a helicopter around or if there was any way that I could interact with it, I could get in trouble. So instead, what I did was I enabled the tap to fly mode. In this mode, the drone has all of its sensors on so it tries not to run into anything and then I tap on my phone screen where I want it to fly. The drone naturally goes lower and uses its sensors to try to make sure that it doesn't actually, you know, go into the ground or anything like that. So the drone was as low as possible, just trying to skim over the tops of buildings and keeping it as low as I could. Something I should point out here, my whole flight lasted about four or five minutes, I believe. They're, they're no longer than that. So either way, I'm coming back in from the Stantec building. Uh, I'm in tap to fly mode, so it's actually buzzing right along the roof of the reaction offices uh, as it comes in. It crosses over top of me, and now, if anybody knows tap to fly mode, it's not exactly precise. You don't have exact control because it's trying to fly nice and smooth and everything. So when it crosses over me, I actually tried to, in the tap mode, turn it and turn it around with the sticks, but it ended up going a little bit past reaction and just up to like, you know, the pizza place that I usually get pizza at. I would say it's right around above there. I regained vision of the drone right here right at the point where it skimmed over the roof of reaction. It was literally just a foot or two above the roof and it popped out over this way and flew towards the pizza place. At that point, I actually disabled the tap to fly mode, turned the drone around myself, flew it in, dropped it down. I stood in front of it and kind of waved for a second and then I just landed it. And that was the total and complete entirety of my flight. As soon as I noticed that there was a helicopter, I immediately landed my drone. I, I wanted to be really clear that of course I would never want to interrupt the STARS helicopter or cause any sort of you know, loss of life or, or hurt anybody or anything like that with my videos. Obviously, I think if anybody has watched anything that I've made, you'd know that I would never want to willingly act irresponsibly or, or, or hurt anybody. So. I hope that you guys can understand that in my attempt to get a quick intro shot for my vlog, I definitely made a mistake. I'm now very aware of the drone laws and exactly how it works, and so I'm not going to be doing that again. But here's the rub. A lot of people in the comments and everywhere else have been calling for me to like be put in jail, <laughs> to uh, you know, be fined $15,000. Flight path, uh, in the, the technical definition here, is not talking about the path that the aircraft is taking, or even really like the path, like a large area around the path that the aircraft is going on. It's talking about a, a circular area around Red Deer Hospital, and that is technically designated as the flight path. So I wasn't like, as far as I know, I wasn't directly in the way, like my drone wasn't here and this wasn't the helicopter coming in. As far as I know, it was just a helicopter was in the area and my drone also was in the area. And I want to be very clear here. All of the information that I am telling you, I have already given in a statement to the police. They know all about this. They have the drone. They have the footage of my flight. And so I believe that will, to a certain extent, exonerate me. I would hope that a judge or, or whoever would hand down the fine would hopefully go easy on me because I did, in what was my estimation, the most responsible thing to do. Now, obviously, the most responsible thing to do would be to not fly there at all. And I'm not going to be doing that again. So again, I uh, I want to apologize and say that I'm very sorry if I, if I caused anyone in my community in Red Deer, in the drone and UAV and enthusiast community if I have done something irresponsible that could have threatened someone's life or caused damage to property. That's absolutely not what I would want to do and I apologize from the bottom of my heart about that. And it's not something that I'm going to be doing again. Anyway, that's about it for here. I have to, I have to go vlog. I have to go stream. It's, it's Monday and it's, it's like 6:19, so I am late. I am late for the stream. Uh, I'm not late, but I mean, gonna, I'm gonna be late if I don't go. So thanks for watching, drone people. Uh, I hope you stay around for my content. Uh, watch other videos. They're super good. So anyway, I gotta go stream. Bye. I forgot my bag. Now I gotta go. Bye.
And finally, just to be super clear here, I'm parked, I'm not driving at all, not driving while talking to the camera here, but I did just wanna say thanks to everybody, all your comments, all of your information, everybody who's concerned about safety, the safety of my community, Making a mistake is an opportunity to learn, and that's what I'm taking this as. This is my opportunity to get better acquainted with the drone community, better acquainted with drone law, better acquainted with more and new subscribers and people that are part of the Minolta Brev train here. <laughs> that doesn't make a lot of sense, but my point is that don't, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Now, obviously I've made a big one here and, and I feel terrible about that. And I don't want this outro to undercut that, but making mistakes is part of life and it's important and it can lead to some great stuff as long as you don't take that mistake in the wrong way. And so I wanna assure everybody here that I'm taking this mistake in the right way. This is a learning opportunity for me and I'm excited to bring the fruits of this, this learning experience to you, the viewer. Anyway, that's enough of my chitter chatter. My name is Jeff Wood. You might know me as Minolta 1034, and I'll see you next time. with that whole red deer drone baron, you should have made a YouTube video saying on April Fool's, like, this is it guys, I have to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.